Hello everybody, it's your friend Josh. About a week ago, I was pretty bored with the color of my bike, and I have a pair of shoes that uh, I really like the texture of them. So what I wanted to do was basically mimic that, and what I did is I came up with a technique I like to call the Rosenthal method. And I call it that because my favorite MMA referee is named Josh Rosenthal, and he just went to prison for having $6 million worth of illegal drugs in a warehouse. Basically, the first thing you're gonna do is prep the frame. On my personal bike, I uh, got some paint stripper and got it all the way down to the raw metal. Uh, on this frame that we're showing you here today, uh, I just said screw it and, and sent it. For the Rosenthal method, you're gonna need a few things. Um, at the very least, four different kinds of paint. Um, you could probably get away with three if you're doing America colors, but uh, I would suggest four. Uh, drywall tape, um, a knife, uh, sharp rock works in this case and a paintbrush. I used a toothbrush in this situation. First thing when it comes to painting is you're gonna to wanna to put down a base coat. And this is a pretty important one because this is what's gonna be showing up through as you uh, layer paints on top of it. So if you use a lighter color, it's gonna look good if you use a, a darker base coat. And uh, I use a technique just like zebra stripes so that uh, overall when it's done, it, it looks pretty trippy. A minute or so after the paint is dried, you can start applying the drywall tape. Uh, you don't wanna go when it's too wet because you'll get paint everywhere, but um, also it needs to be somewhat wet so the tape sticks pretty well. And uh, you can put as much of this or as little of this on as you'd like. Um, I, I tried to cover the whole top tube and down tube and even some of the smaller tubes like the chain stay and seat stay. And then you're gonna wanna apply your top layer of paint and you can put as much of this on as you want. Uh, the more you spray on, the more homogenous it's gonna look. But um, I, like, I almost kinda went with the zebra stripe technique on this. Um, just do as you please and notice that this is the, the top layer. Give it a few minutes and then you can go ahead and peel off the drywall tape. This is a pretty cool part because now you get to see the texture that uh, we're trying to accomplish there. It's definitely the most rewarding part of the whole process. After I pulled the tape off, uh, I went ahead and threw some splatter paint on there. Uh, I think it gives it a pretty cool look. You don't have to at this point, I just think it was a, a pretty cool addition, you know. The way I do the splatter paint is I just spray a bunch onto the, the head of the toothbrush and just kind of like violently shake it at it and do it as much as you think you need, you know? On this frame, uh, I used three different colors for the splatter, uh, including using the original green that I used for the base. You can do as many of these as you like. Uh, I think the more, the better. And uh, once you're done with that, satisfied with how it looks, go ahead and throw a layer of clear coat on. I personally didn't on this one, but uh, if you really want it to last for a while, you should definitely add a few layers of clear coat. All right, guys, that is the Rosenthal method. If you like it, try it out. You know, if you want me to do it, I can help you out for money. Follow me on Instagram, at Josh Betley, if you want to see more pictures of splatter paint bikes and a very detailed list of things I would do to pop singer Rihanna sexually. Check out this beetle!